Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Torchwood Season 1, Episode 9, Random Shoes. Couldn't even cross the road without messing it up. No bag, nothing. Do they what know him it? though? Am I dead? Am I dead? That's really not a cool way to find out that you died. Am I a ghost? Or a zombie? Oh god, right, when? calm. Yeah, obviously. Stick yeah. with the tank. Well, you're driving. This is Torchwood. How did he know about Torchwood and I mean, how every does he know them? Isn't he really a professor in Harry Potter? No, sure. <laughs> Dad was mad at me for losing the final. Like it was his fault. But now he I had just the, the kid. And what I realized Shit was, happens, man. If it fell from the sky, that was the night Dad went away. David okay Bowie! Because I had the eye and the possibility yes! of an alien in back in Oh my god, I'm having Don't goosebumps. And then I waited. Doesn't sound like David Bowie though. Maybe it's a cover. I just like How did he find out about them? Star Trek? Shit. Really, Owen? Do you understand what's happened it's to your brother, Teddy? very dirty. Yep. What? Fish tank. No, you do. Oh, that's a cute boy! Oh my god, he's so cute! Where's your dad? Oh, adorable. Should be cooperation and... Owen is so annoyed. Why? I am sorry, Mrs. James. Poor woman, she just lost her boy. <laughs> Look, Mom. not a boy anymore, but... I'm sorry, but... <laughs> you do it, then. What, are you jealous? Of I do a it. dead Your person? Toxic. Yes, I've got... A... I am in heaven. She's about I'm to see on. your penis. Can't imagine the pain she's feeling. Oh, I'm scared of the man. <laughs> so sad. Can a person die before their time? It's like a lot harder. Do you harder think Eugene committed suicide? To. It was a road accident and there was no alien like, involved. See, I'm not so sure. Because... Thank you for that Disney moment. Now who's making tea? Yeah, well, I suppose Eugene's a bit odd. No... I have. Is he seriously jealous of a corpse? Hello, Owen. Don't mix work with feelings. Now you're following me. I guess she is starting to feel what he feels. Yeah, she really is feeling what he's feeling. Hi, this is Gary. I'm out of here. Moving to London in a couple of months. Know what I'm saying? Uh, See, no disrespect, but Eugene, failure. Well, he's not lying. Don't write the check. I mean, I'm sorry. Are you gonna start stalking the co workers? Let the inter school moths find our big moment. Did she just invite her over to watch him lose a kid contest? That's a really shitty dad. He's not Superman, Mum. He works in a garage on Fiery Road. Eugene found about two weeks ago. He found him on the internet. He's a cashier, works nights. Ouch. Ouch. Boy. Ouch. Oh, God. Poor woman. Now I remember why I sold the eye. I don't want anything to do with him. But he's... he has to know. I'm sorry. You were his boy after it's all. It's okay. Wait. She replied. Keep your phone on. God. We have barely Great. seen Jack in this episode. Oh yeah. I like this episode, but I would like it more if Jack was in it. What about her boyfriend? She's always working, weekends, nights. He doesn't complain. And I know like people have to understand when other people have jobs important jobs and like they have a life in a career and shit but there's just so much a person can take Gary oh, Gary took it Gary stole it you hike the bit I don't want this to end Poor Eugene. Oh my god. I love you. I love you. Oh, 
awkward. Even more awkward. Stop it. I knew it. They stole it. So they kill him. Thought well. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, Eugene. That's not real. funny. <laughs> but then we thought. If it's all such a sodding joke, why do you even want it? I got right. a friend with a visual impairment. That's his! What the fuck? So now they're inconveniencing customers. Hmm. Well, that's just not acceptable behaviour. Gary, I'm going to miss you. He caused all of the this. Biggest turnout you could. Don't miss I wish him. I could. And here he is. Did they open him, though? To get the eye back? My dad. This is so oh, sad. Oh, I hate cemeteries. Don't tell me the dad is coming back home. I would kick him out. Hi. Oh my god. <sighs> Eugene. Okay? He died? What? But he died! Thanks. That's okay. <laughs> Girl, all the time, really? Oh no, I thought he was coming back. Eugene, please don't go now. Eugene, please. I guess it's not his decision. Please. The average life is full of near misses and absolute hits, of great love and small disasters. It's made up of banana milkshakes, loft insulation, and random shoes. It's dead ordinary and truly, truly amazing. What you've got to realize is, it's all here now. So wow. breathe deep and swallow it We're home, pretty far from there. Me, life just whizzes <laughs> by, and then, all of a sudden, it's... At least it wasn't a This episode was years. amazing! Which year, I need to know. 1953. Just three lost people who've somehow become our responsibility. A man like you, out of his time, alone, scared. I hate this so big, basically! It's like two separate worlds. There's Torchwood, then there's real life. I'm scared. So now, Owen is cheating on when? When is I, I guess that's that's okay. This episode was so good, like damn, it hit me right in the feels. I didn't want Eugene to die. This just reminded me that in the Doctor Who world, nothing is always a happy ending. Actually, almost never is really a happy ending, but. Wow, it was such a good episode. Such a great episode. And now next episode, Owen is going to be cheating on Wen. I thought he liked her. He wasn't even jealous of a corpse. So what the hell? <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode with me. Please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. And you can also follow me on my social media like Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. The links will be in the description box. As always, I'm Zara Miano, and I'll see you in my next video. Torchwood. Outside the government, beyond the police. Tracking down alien life on Earth and arming the human race against the future. The 21st century is when everything changes. And you've got to be ready.